<laughs> hey y'all. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Monet. If you are new here, welcome. If you are an old subscriber, hey babes, how are y'all? So today we are doing a, what is it called? <laughs> Just forgot. <laughs> Today we are doing a cook with us. We are doing a new series. It's gonna be like an adventures with Bishop and Brows. Um, baby is known as Bishop. That's you guys. Me. I always call her Babe, but y'all don't know her name. Her name was Bishop. Um, so everybody, all of her people call me Brows. Y'all see the face. That's the reason why. So we are gonna start doing something where we either take a trip or we just cook with you guys and show um, just different recipes and stuff like that that are healthy. So today we are doing a. Smothered turkey wings with um, mushroom gravy. Mm -hmm. Y'all, it is super, super good. It's really, really healthy. I thought baby made the gravy like I make my gravy, which is with the flour and stuff. So y'all are going to get to see a better version of that, which I'm super excited because it doesn't have the carbs involved. So very, very much, I believe, keto friendly, if I'm not mistaken. So... Yeah, baby's going to take control of this section. And then I'm also going to answer about, I think, maybe like five or six uh, weight loss questions um, that you guys have. And if you guys have any other questions that you would like to ask, definitely put them down below. Um, yeah. And so if you guys are interested in seeing baby's recipe, <laughs> let's go ahead and get started. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment down below. Let's get it. Okay, y'all. So this recipe is smothered turkey wings. <laughs> With mushroom gravy. Yeah. So, first thing you're going to do, wash these bad boys off. We already did that. So, now you're going to season it. You season it with whatever you want to season it with. So, we like flavor. Mm, lots of it. So, you're going to see me put a lot of seasonings on here. What you using, about? I'm starting off with a little garlic pepper. You know, all black people like garlic pepper. So, you're going to do a little garlic pepper. A little onion powder. Ain't that right, babe? Mm-hmm. I do it separate. Oh, okay. And then we use some of our seasonings that we really like. Favorite God. This is Garlic Lovers. We like garlic. We eat a lot of garlic. It's good for you. So season that wing up. Uh, we use another flavor god, everything but the salt. We don't really use, we don't use salt. No, we don't use We that. don't cook salt because it's bad for you. It is, especially if you got high blood and pressure. And I got that high blood pressure, honey, <laughs> so. <laughs> and then I'm going to put a little bit of sweet paprika on here. You didn't know nothing about that, Mama. I did it. I wonder if that's what I'm going to put on my turkey. Yeah, put a little sweet paprika on here. And then... Oh. Was that oregano? A little oregano. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it was. I'm yeah. Sorry. A little oregano. You know. And then you top that thing off with a little pepper. We usually use garlic pepper, but we are out, so gotta use what you got. Flip it over and do the exact same thing. So after you season them, what you want to do is get your pan or whatever you're going to put it in and just spray some olive oil the bottom of the pan. 
and then you want to put one thing of mushrooms just like you get from the store put the mushrooms in the bottom spread them out a little bit okay so we prefer fresh <laughs> bell peppers and onions mm. however i forgot to get them at the store today yes, you so we are cheating we're gonna use this just a little bit because you know this creates a lot of water so yes. we're just gonna use use the whole thing because it wasn't that much and in what there. we're using is just the um the three pepper um, onion blend you can find this it well it's a right there probably all, and all these got it too so everybody got it any store you just got to look in the frozen section if you want to not cut up the fresh peppers and then what you're gonna do is place the skin it's supposed to be skin down mm -hmm. first Okay. okay. yeah <laughs> So you're going to you gonna, the other two? Uh -huh, place the skin down. I'm going to season the other two. Um, you're going to put your oven, preheat your oven to 400. All right. So after you put them in, what you're going to do is you're going to cover them with foil and let them sit in the oven for an hour. Prepping the rest of the food, I'm going to go ahead and answer like five questions just to get them knocked out. Now, if you guys have any other weight loss questions, I will do a chit chat video where I'm sitting down, kind of doing my makeup and answer other questions for you guys. Um, so, I think most people, I think are more curious about what type of diet I'm on than anything. So I'll start with that. I'm not on a diet. I hate that. One reason I hate that word diet is because it definitely you automatically just think restriction. And I feel like for me, the first time when I lost my weight, um, I was very sad and depressed because I felt so restricted. I did not go out to eat for like, I think maybe like the first year, just because I didn't feel like confident enough to be able to say no to certain foods. So I stayed away from fast food completely. Um, so then I was doing a more so low carb diet. Um, but I would have my heart um, carb days if that made sense um, this go around I did make sure to enjoy my process and for that that means I get to still have my cheat meal not cheat day cheat meal specifically um, so I will eat light for like during the day like for instance a breakfast shake um, protein shake which is like the premier protein um, and then like for lunch it will either be a salad or something if i do eat lunch and then usually for dinner that that will be my cheat meal whether it's um french fries wings burger whatever um, so that i'm primarily focused on low carb um over anything i know i get a lot of questions regarding if i'm keto i am not keto um but me and dairy it's not it's just not gonna work for me i found that i was putting on weight when i was trying keto because i was eating so much cheese which i do love I am like a fanatic of cheese. Anything that has cheese on it, I'm there for it. But I just can't have it, me personally. Y'all shouldn't have telling me how to do my recipe, y'all. I'm not telling you how to do your recipe, baby. I'm just trying to help you. It be good, y'all. But where's the y'all see? <laughs> I am focused more so, though, on low carb. Um, and that just consists of just looking at the amount of carbs that are in my products. I always try to look at the ingredients on the back of whatever I eat um, for the most part. Um, just to make sure I'm staying within my carbs. Um, now, a typical day for me for breakfast, I usually do like either boiled eggs um, and sausage. Now, now, I was eating bacon every day. But we are on this no red meat for this month into my birthday so it's been a little um challenging very challenging <laughs> y'all very challenging <laughs> try two months but you like it i love bacon 
Y'all been struggling for two months. Like I eat, I got, y'all, I was eating bacon every day. Like every single day. So to to not eat bacon every day and to go to, to it's a little hard. It's very challenging, especially like on cheat meal days. Like that's the most challenging because I'm used to just being able to go grab a burger that's beef and we not eating it. So it's like, I can't even eat fucking fajitas because like I get beef and shrimp. So, um, and I don't even want no seafood because I still want my sausage with it. So it's just like, if I can't have what I want, I don't even want it. So. I'm just ready for my birthday <laughs> so I can eat. We are going to cheat for Labor Day um, and eat some brisket, which I'm... And some ribs. Oh, I'm so excited. But we're going to detox right after and then get back to it. Are we going to keep going to red meat after your birthday or we stop? I, I have no clue. <laughs> I got to see how much weight I lose and see and see if it's really beneficial for that. Um, that's the reason why I wanted to actually try it, to see if I was going to lose a lot more weight. I think that my body... How do you feel? Hungry? It's helped me, y'all. I don't know if I feel like I have less energy because I've been tired and sluggish. My back been hurting. I've so, been tired. Yeah. I'm so that's like, I'm so tired. tired. Yeah, I be tired. But my skin. Yeah, the skin looks good. It's glowing. Yeah. Yours is always glowing. She only use fucking soap and water, y'all. Not even soap. Hot water. No <laughs> Meanwhile, I have breakouts on my forehead trying to trying to clear up. So hot water and a towel. That's all you need, yo. So just focusing on low carb meals. Um, and I like to do a, some keto meals like on my low carb days. If I know I'm gonna be eating heavy the next day, I will focus on a keto meal. I just try not to use as much cheese um, for myself personally because I just know that my, I'll blow it up. Ask me they would like to know my meal plan I don't necessarily have a meal plan um, I do meal prep you know we kind of figure it out at the beginning of the week kind of what we want to eat um, and I do try to make sure that we are balancing it then when I say balance I mean protein vegetable carb <laughs> Not carb, carb, protein now she don't let me eat nothing I do let her eat <laughs> She eats, because if she did not get a meal, you guys, I promise you she will be fussing at me. So, she eats. It's just not, like, carb heavy. Yeah. Yeah. It's healthy. Fair. But it's still good. <laughs> <laughs> it's still good, though. Y'all, some days, I ain't gonna lie, I be wanting to cry. I be wanting to cry every day. <laughs> I be wanting to cry, because I just want some macaroni and cheese. I just want some macaroni and cheese. I just want some cornbread. I just want a roll. You see? You <laughs> she see. don't let me have none of that, y'all. No, we can't bring that in this house. Not not until... Well, we eat it on the holidays. Yeah. So, anybody want to slap me a little bit of macaroni and cheese? <laughs> I swear, y'all. So, I have a fitness pal, so you guys can follow me on there. I am not that great about entering stuff like I used to. I think it's more so because I pretty much just get up now. And I'm like, okay, this is what I'm going to eat. And so I'm able to do that. Um, I don't count my calories no more. And I think it's mainly because I be at the gym majority of the days of the week. Well, yeah. So I feel like if I'm working out and I'm burning a thousand calories, I'm not worried about me eating 1400 calories because I've already burnt a thousand for the day. So as far as my fitness pal, I think I'm supposed to have like 2000 calories. It is based on your weight though. Um, but I would normally, what I would try to eat is under 1500. So, uh, I do recommend if you are trying to lose weight, you do want to stay under 1500. Um, but it also depends on if you are working out and if you're working out multiple times during the week and if you're doing it daily. Cause I know some people work out, um, twice a day. So if you're doing that and you have high act activity, you definitely want to eat more anyway. I think this is a good one. What is my, what was my heaviest weight and my smallest weight and what is your goal weight so i'll answer those three all in one so i think my heaviest this is what i think um i'm gonna estimate it at around 360 something um the only reason is i remember when i was going to the doctor i would sit on y'all remember those old school scales the ones that have like the metal and they clank so mines they couldn't get a reading off of it because at that time i was already past the 350 you know like the scale won't go no more so 
they really couldn't get a reading, which I already knew that I was 360 something. The only reason I knew that is because the first time I lost weight, I do not remember my exact size. I think it was around 362, but I was bigger than that. So I think I'll, I'll, if I have two pictures, I'll try to put them side by side so that way you guys can see. But um, yeah, I was pretty big. So um, that was my biggest, this time was my biggest weight. Um, my goal weight is honestly 200 pounds, but I'm kind of like, I'm kind of on the fence about it because it really depends on how I look. Um, and by saying that, I mean how my body looks because um, the last time when I lost weight, I was about two, was I 250, like 250 something, but everybody kept saying I was, I look small. So I think my 250, I looked maybe about 230-ish, two, I wouldn't even say 220. I, I'm just big. So the way I carry it is a little bit different. I do. Know um, so my goal weight is 200. I'm going to see once I hit 250 how I look but I know in order to have the surgeries that I want to have I'm gonna have to drop down um to lose weight um so I think based off my body fat percentage um and depending on the doctor is looking about 180 ish in order for me to even be approved for surgery um so that worries me because I don't want to be small like I, I don't want to be skinny so my goal is not like everybody else's I just want to be slim thick like more so thick um, I'm thinking like a size 12, but for me on a size 12, it may be small. What has been your hardest obstacle you had to tackle to keep your weight off? I would say being consistent. Being consistent for me is very, very hard. Um, it's just hard with like losing weight. And I mean, like, even though you're not seeing the scale move, you're still committed to walking in the gym, even though you don't want to go to the gym and do it. You see, you see, like, and she doesn't, she, she doesn't like the gym. So that doesn't help. So it's, it's hard to keep me motivated, but I have to keep myself motivated. I think the, honestly, the only thing that does is my progress thus far. Um, and just my goals, like what I want. So I think it's my determination. I think that won't allow me to go. It took me a minute to kind of get to the point of, you know, getting my ass in the gym and, you know, eating right, but I'm here. And so that's all that matters. I have my days where I don't want to get up. I have my days that I'm just fucking tired and I don't want to go to the gym. I have my days where I'm hurting and I don't want to go work out. But I mean, if you don't do it, who will at the end of the day? And can't nobody do this shit for you. And again, granted, I can go get surgery, but I don't want that. I don't want it that way. Um, and it's not to take away from anybody else, but it's to me personally, it's harder to do it your natural way than it is to go get surgery. And I, this was my last time actually trying to do it before I was to go get surgery. So I was like, okay, you know what? I'm going to, let's try this one more time. You did it the first time. Let's see if you can do it again. And so, yeah, I made a promise to myself that I was going to get my life together. And this is a part of that. And I just wanted to feel better. So, and it's not to take away from nobody else. It's just me personally. This is what I think. I don't think surgery personally is for me other than me going to go get my body done after I've done the work. I also will say another um, obstacle that I've had to face would be um, not going back to my old habits. Um, as far as I like eating, like I'm not an emotional eater anymore An emotional eater, like when I would eat my ice cream and stuff, like when I got sad and stuff, I do, I purposely don't bring in snacks in the house. So I don't snack. So I think somebody asked me, what do you do for, to curb your cravings? I don't bring shit in the house. So I, that's just kind of answering it. I bring like fruits and stuff like baby got yogurt. Like if I want something sweet, I usually do like strawberries and whipped cream or apples and caramel like the ones in the cup so that way it's you know making sure that it's serving size i keep popcorn around because that's something light on my stomach um i just try different things i don't bring in ice cream at all we don't eat ice cream like that if we do it's a yogurt on the weekend which is a part of the cheat meal um i told baby with the no red meat if i do want something sweet during the week we can go get a um a yogurt cone but other than that uh, I, I, too, I can just put this on when I get bigger. 
No, I'm buying smaller shit so I can have my gold stuff. That way I can go ahead and when I lose the weight or I have a piece that I want to get into, I can do that. Like I got one birthday piece. Um, I, <laughs> I bought it small. I thought I was going to be able to get into it. That thing was tight as I don't know what. So I said, okay, I'm giving myself to my birthday to be able to fit comfortably in it. So I do things like that to kind of help me stay motivated too. too. And then also just planning, like if I want to get a new pair of shoes, I kind of... Like for my birthday, I said, okay, if I lost the weight, I'm gonna go ahead and give me a new pair of shoes, but I think I'm still gonna give me a new pair of shoes because I haven't like, lost my 100 pounds, but I've already accepted the fact that I'm not gonna lose it by September, unfortunately, but I have lost 80, so that that's still something. All right, you guys, so a lot of people ask about my waist trainers. It's from Queen Resilient. Um, this is the one that I'm going to start wearing in the house, but I think I'm going to get another one from her so that way I can just wear it on the daily um, to help with my back. Um, I talked about it in my vlog. Yeah, my back has been bothering me. Baby said I, she think I pulled something, um, but I honestly think it's because of my titties. My titties and my butt. Um, so, yeah. So, I will put the like a video, a clip of the other waist trainer that I wear in the gym. And then you can also wear this one. I feel like I would wear this more so around the house. Like you can do it either or. I just like the um the other one better because that one, baby, that one had your titties all the way like this. Like, like you be like sucked in. Nothing wrong with it. It's just a lot when I'm trying to do a lot in the gym. Yeah, but yeah, definitely check her out. Black owned. Um, she actually sent me that one, but I have um bought because I started off in a 5X. And then I ended up going down to a 3X. So, quick, quick little story. Um, the first vest that I started wearing, um, I ain't even gonna talk about that. I started wearing another vest. I ended up purchasing it myself with my own coin. Um, that was before I could even wear the vest, though. I thought I was a 5X at that time, but I couldn't get in it. So, I had to buy another vest. So, I ended up buying that vest in a little bit of time. I think it took me like maybe a month, and it was already too big, a month or two, maybe. Um, I started wearing hers. Um, I think I don't even know how we found each other. I feel like we found each other on Instagram. I love the fact that she's black owned. Um, I love the fact that she hustles. She shows her own products daily and she shows what they do. Um, so I am a very, very strong believer. You got to show what your product does. If you're not showing it, there's no sense of you even selling it. Um, so I was using her, was it a pink vest? I think it was the pink one. I finally was able to get into a 5X. Um, I think I used hers for about maybe a month or two. And after that, y'all, my waist has shrunk extremely, extremely. Because now I'm in a 3X. I feel like give me about a month and I may be in a 2X. Like that's how fast it is. Waist training does not help you lose weight. Waist training literally only trains your waist. The waist training, as far as when I wear my shaper, when I'm in the gym, that it's, is what's helping, you know, shape this. Up. Like, baby says I don't have loose skin, but... My stomach has dropped. Y'all see that steam? So it's been in there for an hour. So what you're gonna do now is open it up. Look at that. Don't that look good? It looks so good. All right. So now you're gonna take some chicken stock, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. a half a cup of chicken stock and put it over it. I usually put a little bit more because I like it a little juicy. Mm -hmm. We like it juicy. Do. And then you're just going to pour it over it. So, just, you know, pour it over it. I'm going to put a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit. Not too much more. Just a little bit. Because you want it to be juicy. Okay. And now, what you're going to do, you're going to cover it back up and put it in the oven for 45 minutes this time no <laughs> it's not gonna be done y'all i'm hungry I, i'm i'm hungry and apparently i'm gonna need a snack <laughs> it's a long recipe y'all so yeah, it, this it, is something you have to start early, early. and i didn't get up and start it's long it, yeah. it takes some time because you want your turkey to be very tender you don't want to be eating no rubbery hard turkey hey y'all <laughs> <laughs> i cannot oh man you ready yeah all right y'all so we're taking it out so this is after the 45 minute run 
Man, y'all, that heat was on my face, honey. It's on my face. Y'all see that? I just want to eat it. I just want to eat it right now. Y'all okay. see that? Okay, so now mm -hmm. what you are going to do is I take them out. I just put them on the foil because we're not about to use the foil. Okay. So it's hot, y'all. Y'all see them bad boys. All right, so you're gonna take them out. And then, what you're gonna do. You're gonna put that juice in the pot. Yes, you're gonna try to put the majority of this juice in this pot. So. I'm just gonna assist the God, I'm just here. <laughs> I'm just here. So you put that in there. You can leave like a little bit in here if you want to. It don't really matter. So this right here, you're just gonna let that sizzle. You put it in. Okay, so you take the wings and you're gonna now turn it on the other side. Well, you gotta put it back in the oven. Yeah. Oh she probably wanna eat it right now, y'all. I We're do! I thought it. we was putting it, put it in the sauce and everything. Not yet. So we're gonna turn it on the other side. And okay. now what we're gonna do is we are going to actually put it on broil on low. Put it on broil on low. You ain't cooking it that long though, right? 20 minutes. Okay. <laughs> put it on broil okay. on low okay. for 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. So while you are doing that, Put our timer on. Twenty minutes. Okay. So while you're doing that, you know you're doing this little thing here. We have a. Let's see. Oh. Okay. So now what you want to do is you're just gonna let this simmer. Thank you. And then you're gonna add in the secret ingredients. Y'all, she thought I put flour I did. I in the gravy. Flour, I did not. So we're gonna put in some cream. Can you see? We're gonna put some cream of mushroom. That's cream of celery. Oh shit. Cream. <laughs> 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 okay. Let me read y'all. We're gonna put some cream of celery in it. That's cream of mushroom. <laughs> Look, I got ahead. Cream of mushroom. Cream of and chicken. then cream of chicken. Y'all, I could not damn believe this shit when she only used these three items. But this is what she's gonna put in there. That's it. And I used the whole can, y'all. We like it salty. Yes. That's this cream of celery. Mm -hmm. So if you don't want to use cream of celery, you can chop up celery in it. Uh -huh. But the cream of celery, it just it, it just sets it off. It like, yeah, it really does. Hold it. So that way you can, so that way you can scrape the sauce. Huh? You need to scrape the sauce out. Yeah, I'll do that in a minute. But let me just get my. You know, you, you, let me get it you're going. You're kind of stirring it violently. <laughs> How you want me to stir it? So, yeah. hey. okay. Cream of chicken. A little bit of that cream of chicken, y'all. And this is all I put in here for the gravy. No flour. No nothing. This is. Those three items, and she couldn't believe that this is all I put in it. She was like, you didn't put no flour in it? Because that's like, how I make my, my gravy from scratch. You know, you do the flour, the oil, and then you put your broth for your turkey, you know, mixed with that to make your gravy. I told her no. I did not. This is all. Hold it. This is all I use. So you're just going to let this simmer and cook for 20 minutes. And then after you do that, 
You would then pour this over your turkey wings. And then it's done. No. Oh, <laughs> you pour this over your turkey wings. And then you're going to put your turkey wings back in the oven for 20 minutes. And then it's done. <laughs> <laughs> this is not something. If you hungry, don't right. cook it. Don't so you got to have some patience with this. Because uh, if not, it's going to be nasty. And what I like to do is I put a little bit of seasoning in this. And it's just basically what you use before. Your garlic powder, onion powder. And I do a little everything but the salt seasoning so just to give it a little you know a little extra kick nothing major nothing major y'all we we'll be we we'll be on these seasonings like for yeah. real for real <laughs> we are on the season seasoned people yeah so if you want some food with some flavor And then you just stir that up in here. Good. And we got about we got about 15 more minutes. And then once this is done, we will put this over the turkey. Sure. And at that, it's done. See how it's getting thick, like real gravy. Mm -hmm. So that's why she thought I put flour in it. Because it's thickening up. And yes. It's so good, y'all. For real. It really is. It tastes like the gravy that I made. So that's why I was <laughs> like, did you put flour in it? So we've decided that this is the gravy we're going to make for Thanksgiving. Minus the mushrooms. Y'all see that? That's from being on low. On broil. So now... What you want to do is, let me turn this timer off. You're going to put the gravy over it <laughs> and then put it back in the oven. Oh, shit. Is it hot? Uh, this, I, my hand hit that. Um, and then put it back in the oven for 20 minutes. Wait, you're in my way. Oh, I'm sorry. I need you. Yeah, see this? Y'all see this goodness? Ooh, the goodness of Jesus. <laughs> Y'all see that? Oh my goodness. So, you put it in the oven for 20 minutes, and then y'all done. I just want to bite into it right now. Yes, I'm so hungry. <laughs> I'm gonna wash my face up so I can stuff my mouth. Alright, y'all. Okay. Oh. Alright, y'all. We are now done. We are done, done. Look at that. Yo, if you don't pull it out, it's making this noise. <sighs> and we will plate it and show you guys later. We'll put the recipe down below. Mm -hmm. In the description box. So yeah, that is it. So here is our final plate. We have the smoked turkey wings with the mushroom gravy, a baked sweet potato, and cream spinach. Selling plates, y'all. $15 on Fridays. I cannot. And $25 on Sunday. Because you get a good old meal. Y'all, as y'all see, I didn't got into the house coat. But if you um have any questions, just let us know down below so we can get more recipes on. And yeah, we're gonna talk to y'all. I'm ready to eat a bitch's home, okay? <laughs> I'll talk to y'all later. Later.